Okay, here I am, day two. Uh, got a little bit different beach. And as you can see, got the new detector. We did a little bit of water detecting today. I'm gonna detect down the beach so I get where there's more people, then I'm gonna go out in the water. I'll bring you back when I find something. Okay, guys. Uh, first find of the Excalibur. That is a Apple Watch. Doesn't seem to be charging or anything. But that's the first Apple Watch I've ever found. I almost gave up on it. Up on the beach for a minute. All right. Doesn't look like it's in too bad of a shape. Maybe we can find the owner. All right. I'm gonna get a little sip of water and I'm gonna go back in. Okay. I dug this. That's the first piece of junk I, dr I uh, dug up. I had a little ring, but I don't think it's anything. It's kind of crusty. I'm not showing uh, digging it because that's a lot of work. All right, so here's the little ring I found. You can see it's really crusty. So I just wanted to give you a look at it before I put it in a thing of vinegar. We'll see what it looks like when it comes out. All right, Squatch Watchers. This is what I got with the new... Um, the new metal detector in uh, the Excalibur. Found an eye watch. I found a little ring that I've been cleaning up. It's coming up pretty good. And an old can. The cool thing about the watch is, whoops, it's working. I've put some charge on it. I was able to locate somebody on here from the phone and um, I have called that person and I'm in contact with them and trying to get it returned. I think that would be an awesome thing. Hey Squatch Watchers. I'm uh, going to have a happy ending to uh, the Apple Watch story. Uh, Caitlin, who lost the watch, is on her way to pick it up. And uh, if she agrees, I will YouTube me handing it over or video it so I can put it on YouTube. So I'm pretty excited. This is a first time I've found something when they weren't there and had to locate them. So it's pretty cool. So I'll bring you back when she shows up. I'll edit it out. How about that? I thought for sure that was going to be a goner and that we were never going to see that again. And I was like, yeah, there's no way. It's probably done for. How did you lose it? I We were going for like a little like night swim and I was like, oh, I don't want to get my watch wet. And so I like tossed it into the sand and I totally forgot to grab it on my way back. And then we got all the way back in the next morning. I was like, oh, I don't have my watch. And I was like, there's, there's no way that I'm going to be able to find that. That thing was out. I was up to here. No shit. Uh, and I was, um, I dug 18 inches down to get it. So oh my, gosh. my story is, I've been metal detecting up and down the beach. I don't detect there that much. Yeah. But there's a guy that runs the cabanas called Lurch. Mm -hmm. And he called me about a ring three weeks ago. It may have already been found, but I went to see if I could find it. Mm -hmm. I just bought a, it's not a noon detector, but it's new to me. Mm -hmm. And it's a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. It's the first thing I found. Wow, that was so convenient. <laughs> Can so, I tell you how much I appreciate uh, that so much? What time are you out? <laughs> I was out there this morning at 10 o'clock. 
and oh, so you just found it this morning this morning it's and been it, out there since friday yeah friday and it, it still had a charge on it that's crazy just a little bit yeah. but but i just got one three weeks ago <laughs> so i put it on my charger yeah. and you didn't lock it so i was able to find your, yep. your so <laughs> next time lock it yes. well you may not get it back um because mine i have my credit card information on there yeah so uh one thing i do when i'm going to the beach and i have my watch i have afeb so i have mm -hmm. those ba medical bands yeah, oh, cool. I, I put that on there and if it ever gets lost somebody can go oh this is easy yeah cool. there you go so, yeah. so how long have you been doing this uh six years oh okay yeah i've lived That's here good. all my life are you guys yeah. from here we're yeah. from missoury yeah missouri. actually oh okay yeah, we come here every summer for about a week we just love it here oh that's awesome yeah, yeah. it's beautiful yeah i i uh my wife and i grew up we went to high school not far from here yeah. i'm not from here originally my dad was in the air force mm -hmm. and we moved around but i've been here since i was seven oh, yeah. okay. so yeah and, and i just I love it here. That's and, awesome. Uh, I fish there. I've been baptized on that beach and everything. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so, cool so, well, don't lose it again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you the one I was texting? This is for you. Because well, I appreciate you. Oh, no. That was a lot of work. I'm sure that was a pain in the butt. I appreciate it. it it's Saved not me an extra 150 bucks <laughs> buying a new one. So. It's, it's not work if you enjoy it. Yes. That's what I told my son. <laughs> if you do what you enjoy, you never work a day in your life. There you go. So. It's a fun hobby. I watch those videos on TikTok sometimes. Oh, well, well watch, watch my YouTube. What we did. It? We were watching at the beach earlier. You my are? Sister, we looked it up. <laughs> yeah. I look a little different in the winter, don't I? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> it's too hot to do that you know when it's time to i know when it's time to cut my beard yeah. i start zipping my jacket oh. my beard up in my jacket <laughs> yeah. so, so. i can't imagine doing that what hunting or zipping your beard zipping up my beard <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's crazy that i couldn't yeah i mean if you're not into hunting just ignore those uh some people they get real being from missouri you're probably used to it hunters hunters yeah, oh, yeah. um here uh, you know, it's it's yeah. 50 50. You mean you killed Bambi? Yeah, I'm on like a vacation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Retirement area. Oh, uh, yeah. it, it is. Uh, um, but there's everything here hunting, mm -hmm. fishing. I have two boats. I have that big boat that I go out, and then I have another one that's at my son's house. I go to the back country and we catch stone, uh, stone crab and blue crab. And so. Yeah, we're scared of crab. You, uh, if they're dead, they don't pinch you, and you can eat them. Yeah. <laughs> do you, you got it figured out? Do you not like crab at all? No, I do. I do. Yeah. I, we had crab earlier, actually. Oh, okay. But we, we earlier we were also talking about how we're scared of the little alive pinchy ones. So. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, you know, when I was about that big, my my sister went here, look, and I I went to grab it and pinched my finger, and I ran down the beach screaming. But I was six or <laughs> yeah, seven. That would so, be me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So now I eat them. Yeah. So. There you go. Now we're <laughs> so. winning. Uh, how long are you here for? Uh, we'll be here till the fourth. Oh, cool. Are you leaving on the fourth or leaving on the fifth? The next oh, okay. day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy. I, if you Thank see you. me, I, I'll probably be out there July fourth. Okay. Well, if we see you out, we'll say hi. Okay. <laughs> well, have a good thank, thank you so thank much. You. You're welcome. Bye bye now.